Now, what is this, Frida? I mean, I thought that Gucci was Gucci image was all about sex, glamour, and rock and roll. And you're showing us a pie chart. Tell us why. <laughs> well, as you can imagine, Susie, I don't spend most of my time uh, at gathering numbers because I'm, I'm doing another job. But uh, actually, I was uh, really, really surprised when my marketing team showed me these figures because I couldn't imagine that uh, teenagers in their early 20s, they spend more than 47% of their time on internet and only 3% on reading newspaper and magazine. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> it's very impressive. So based on that, we seated around the table, uh, me and my team and the people in the company, and we understood that uh, we needed to open more than possible uh, to this future generation, to this next generation, uh, uh, a new world, a new way to communicate uh, and to build a platform with them. And so uh, I think because they are, the, in a way, the future of the, uh, the, sorry, the customers of the future, and so I think it's very important to create an interaction with them. So, have I got this right? Magazines are for golden oldies, a bit like me, and <laughs> the kids are the future of luxury, is that right? Well, personally, I'm still used to read the newspaper and magazine uh, every morning because I really love the, 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 the smell and the touch of the paper. But of course, I'm not part of this generation, is, even though uh, I'm considered as a younger designer, but uh, I'm not any more a teenager, of but course. You're, re you're really old <laughs> in that world of techno. Yes, I'm not, but I'm not in that generation and that target. And so I have to say that it's very important for fashion industries to consider this because it's impossible to ignore because uh, we are surrounded every single day by this new technology and the new habits that this new generation uh, is uh, uh, pointed out and uh, is living every day. So uh, that's why we want really to push and to focus on new technology and new media and uh, a new way to communicate that is not only magazine, even though I still think that for fashion industry, magazine and the glossy page uh, and the glamours uh, is always very important, but uh, it's also important to consider that there is uh, another part, a biggest part of the world that is going in a different direction. So you mean to say that you imagine that everything is now going to be bought online, that all the Gucci products that we all long to touch and feel, that they're going to be bought online. How long has this e-commerce haven been there for you? Well, mm, the e-commerce, uh, we opened uh, the first e-commerce, we were, I think, one of the first luxury brand uh, opened the e-commerce in 2002. And uh, at the beginning, uh, it was uh, more focused on the US market. And then recently, we opened also in Europe and in China, uh, which is the biggest country now that is working on, the, on this uh, new retail channel. And uh, no, no one at that time uh, could believe that uh, you could buy a piece of luxury or, uh, I don't know, a crocodile handbag uh, on, online. But uh, actually, it's a new a lot reality. Of people do that, do they? Yeah, we have more than, uh, I think, two million people that is doing that. So, uh, not crocodile handbags, though. Not crocodile handbags. If you sell two million not. crocodile hand <laughs> handbags, I'm really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, so I, I understand that. But I know that you've got another whole vein to your work, not just e-commerce, but the whole social media side of what you do. Um, is this Gucci's Facebook page there? What no, am I this looking is at? the website page. It's okay. Yeah, this That's is Facebook. Facebook. So I've got my back to the screen, which is clearly a very <laughs> bad idea here. Is it, um, so tell us about Facebook and about being on there as Gucci. Well, uh, Facebook, uh, we discovered uh, um, a few times ago that uh, uh, we had an unofficial page uh, of Gucci on Facebook uh, that has already more than 40,000 fans. So at that point, we decided to open a, an official page on that, and now we have half a million fans that's following us. 
And I think what is interesting here that uh, you cannot find only videos or photos or fashion shows uh, or products, but uh, uh, we, we tried to create uh, a great interaction with people and, uh, and users of Facebook with our friends because uh, we can uh, offer all, every kind of content uh, regarding, for example, every kind of initiative of the company or, I don't know, celebrity that is wearing uh, a new project for UNICEF uh, or the... Who are you with there? I'm with Michael oh, Roberts. Yes, launching his book. Yes, launching the new book, which is the new, uh, the new holiday campaign to benefit, to benefit UNICEF uh, in the next holiday campaign. And then, uh, of course, uh, other many contents. And I think it's very interesting to see how people is interacting with us and how this new generation is becoming very loyal with us. So uh, I think it's, that, that's really exciting and really intriguing. What about yourself and Facebook? I, I probably my non-techno skills. I couldn't find the free to Facebook online. <laughs> I explain you why because uh, I had one actually, but then uh, there was uh, uh, there were four fakes free to Facebook. Uh, yeah, Frida's page, uh, page, Facebook page, sorry. And uh, it was funny because uh, we worked out with our legal office to try to cancel and to eliminate it because uh, there were a lot of fake informations in it. But it was impossible because after one month, uh, there was a new Frida coming out. So at that point, I decided, okay, we can stop it and we can focus on the Gucci Facebook and not on me personally. So anything you do find on the internet that says Frida is doing this and that is all made up. It's somebody's fantasy. I don't understand, sorry. So, but anything that was a Frida Facebook is not the genuine one, no, it's, it's a fake. Not me. <laughs> so. But it was funny because one of them it was saying, for example, one morning, ah, oh, yes, I woke up this morning, I'm on the beach, I'm uh, walking with my dogs, and then I'm going to take a horse riding in the afternoon. All these news that I don't know, maybe they knew from interviews or other things, and I was, oh my God, I was, I was really shocked by that. <laughs> I expect you wished you were doing that, spending your afternoon on horseback riding instead of sitting at your desk. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so are we going to see another? Are we going to see that um, page again, the um, uh, Gucci website? Yeah. Can we go back to it? Because I want you to tell me more about it because, you know, here is the nub of the matter. How do you feel about it? Are you very involved yourself? I'm very involved with that, especially in design uh, and uh, especially in the choice of the contents because uh, I think it's very important uh, also here in the website to offer more contents than possible and not only product that you can sell online. Uh, so for example, you can find in the website all the history of the company, the heritage, all the history of the family, or you can find, for example, the behind the scenes of every campaign, advertising campaign or commercial uh, TV that we do. Uh, so uh, I think it's a, it's a different way uh, also to, to communicate and to offer and to show a new website. Then we are updating, uh, of course, the website very often, and now we are already working working on a new uh, Gucci website that I think that will be launched in the next six months. Uh, and the new one will have what, more animation as you might say? I know you have videos and things that we're not seeing at the moment, um, but would that be what the new website had? Yes, because uh, I have, of course, a, a team of people that is uh, coming from this, uh, this area and uh, uh, they are very professional and they are very creative and innovative and so we are trying to uh, put something that, for example, uh, the, you can connect direct, directly with Facebook, with Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, with all these uh, new channels uh, in communication media. Tell me about your launch of webisodes. Yes, that, that is, this is a webisode, actually. Okay. Well, <laughs> well the webisode uh, is something that has started because, uh, as I told you before, maybe we can. This is the one that we did for Rihanna, and we did the campaign for UNICEF. Right here I go. Okay, so basically, no, the webisode, the, the idea of the webisode was to create, uh, 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 for example, here you can see I'm uh, uh, selecting uh, uh, drawing sketches with Rihanna for her outfits. Uh, so, because I think that 
always creating uh, and trying to push this kind of interaction uh, with the users uh, uh, and with this new platform uh, that is internet, uh, that is YouTube, that is everything about, I don't know, Facebook or Twitter. Uh, more than you can offer that is not only an advertising campaign printed in a magazine, but also what is the process that is behind this campaign. So, for example, here in this webisode, it was interesting to show how the relationship between myself and Rihanna was born and how uh, we grew up together and how we worked together to, to, to finalize this project. Or, for example, now I have a video crew, which is very embarrassing for me, but now is a sort of... Uh, now I, I feel more relaxed and more comfortable with that. I have a video crew that is following me everywhere, basically, so uh, he followed me when uh, I was in New York a couple of weeks ago or when I was in Malawi for UNICEF and so again you can offer more information and I think people is very attracted by that because it's something that can show what is behind the brand and it's not only the products it's not only the fashion show or the campaign. So it's about making fashion live for people the way a lot of us who are in the business have a f the good fortune to see it, really bringing the whole thing to them in the round, not just the final product or the final person. Exactly. Yes, also sure. because I think now is a sort of new dialogue, dialogue, so we are trying to build a new relationship with this new generation. And uh, I, uh, I think this is something that, uh, is, again, we cannot ignore. And uh, I, I'm. I'm very sure that we need to continue to push in this direction because it's the future and uh, fashion is future as well and so fashion innovation i think they have to um, to live in a parallel way so here it is the um, gucci iphone application that you've just launched or very recently yeah yes. we just launched very recently and uh, has extremely successful we had already uh, more than, I think, uh, 3,050 uh, download uh, application uh, from this app because I think what is original and unique in this application comparing versus other brand is are the contents again because yes you have the products like this one for example is the shoe that I designed together with Mark Bronson uh, the, the music the producer this is the console uh, the console desk so is a desk basically where you can download your music your favorite song you can mix it you can scratch it you can uh, create your own personal music and then you can send and you can share with your friends or again for example there is a special playlist that we created together with myself and Mark or again for example there is the little black book which is something that I find very interesting where you can find all the addresses of our hotels, restaurants, best places, vintage store that I like in all the cities in the world. And they are linked with the Google Maps, so basically in five seconds you can immediately reach the address and the place where you are to go. Well, I'm not going to test you by asking you to read out what the Berlin um, <laughs> list on your iPhone, but <clears throat> it is pretty impressive and I feel because I know a little bit about you that a lot of this does come from you because I know that you are mad about music you know you once told me that you cannot work without music and it's very much part of your soul so tell us about that it, it's true that you're a great music lover and it's true uh, music is not only part of my job but it's really part of my life because uh, it's something that uh, uh, I really feel uh, uh, since I woke up in the morning, uh, while I'm working, when I'm traveling, uh, when I'm looking, for example, for a new musician uh, or for something that is uh, upcoming, someone that is upcoming. Uh, that's why, for example, I use a lot of YouTube for my personal research because, you know, you can find there uh, the video that is coming out, uh, the, the next generation of musicians. So uh, I think that music and fashion, they always live together in a way because uh, there is a sort of lifestyle in uh, inside of these two worlds and uh, personally it's a great passion for me probably it's my second passion after fashion Frida, I love this idea of you, you looking at YouTube to try and find music for the show that I see this is a whole new world opening up to me there <laughs> um, <clears throat> now I know that you have other projects because I saw seen that project about the eyeglasses are we going to see that here because that's a pretty amazing thing I saw that online Yes, this is a project that we call the Reflect and Connect. Uh, it's very exciting, it's quite new and innovative because uh, basically you can upload here your picture and your photos and you can create your own photo gallery that then is reflected on the lenses of this um, line of sunglasses that I designed for younger generation. 
and then you can link to different cities and different music and then again you can send and share it with your friends and it was very funny because a couple of weeks ago uh, one of our biggest fan of this new project was Ashton Kutcher that he posed yes. uh, with a picture on the eyewear and then uh, he, sent his, he sent his photo everywhere. So you mean that wasn't a setup? Gucci didn't say to him, will you pose for us? He actually did it himself? He did it himself. He is a very great fan of new technology. He is a great Twitter. So uh, he did by himself and we discovered because of course we, we try to update and to, to control the, man, the, the, the team that is doing that uh, every single day. So basically we have of course a, a huge control on that on all these kind of initiatives. So the, the Gucci page is uh, updated, uh, the, sorry, the, the Facebook page is updated, uh, I think three uh, times per day, every 24 hours. Uh, uh, so uh, also the Gucci iWeb. So I think that it's important also to manage and to have a control on that. You know, Frida, n nobody here in the audience cannot be tremendously impressed by your grasp of technology and by the um, way that Gucci is reaching out to the new generation. But there is another side to this, and I want to ask you about it. Isn't there a danger that the exclusive side, the fact that Gucci is so special, loses a bit of its cachet when it's, everything is all over the internet all the time? Don't you feel that maybe it needs to be a bit more exclusive? Uh, I don't think so at all because uh, I think that um, new technology and luxury they can live together. I think that uh, I think this is the reality of the future, and uh, I think that uh, more that you can open the brand to the people, uh, and more that you can also. Uh, make, uh, uh, for example, to people understand what's behind this brand, the history of the brand, the craftsmanship, the quality. Not, all, not everyone knows that, for example, the 80% of our products, especially on handbags, they are still done by, uh, made by hand. So I think this is very important and no matter what, if it's uh, placed on the uh, on, uh, on internet or on, a, on, a, on an interview or on a magazine. So I think that uh, the important thing now is to really understand that this is a new reality and more than you open the brand to the people and more you can create a free access to the brand, more you can create a sort of Gucci community. And I think that this is uh, our first purpose. Well, I'm not entirely sure that more people will click on the history of Gucci than on some of these other exciting things like the sunglasses project. But I, I get your drift here and I think it's very, I think you've got a very, you know, modern and clear attitude. But does it go further than that? Have you got a techno dream? Can you project yourself into the future and say it would be fantastic in five years if? Well, based on the fact that uh, I never have time to do nothing, my personal dream, uh, because I think that, you know, I think that in fashion, uh, the future is about personalization. And so my personal dream would be to have a sort of personal sales assistant that can send me pictures and photos of my favorite items, uh, of something that uh, he knows very well that I'm going to wear or to buy. And uh, maybe he can send me by email or my uh, uh, smartphone, uh, and then uh, I can buy by this and I can save my time because time is luxury. And so, I, I, again, uh, I, th I think that this could be a great uh, achievement, uh, but not only for myself, I think for everyone. <laughs> it doesn't escape me, though, Frida, that there has to be a human hand and a human brain in this to choose <laughs> these products for you. You know, y yesterday uh, we, had a, we saw a Japanese robot um, which was on screen, which is supposed to do a lot of these things for you. My dream is the day that there's no human contact here. There will be just a robot who thinks like my brain and does it all for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you are so busy, and I mean busy is not even the word, you're tremendously involved in your job, does this mean that when you get off the podium here, although you're very techno, you're not going to send a, a tweet or you're not going to blog? What, what, what does it mean? Yeah, here we are, the Twitter page. Uh, today, uh, to be honest, uh, Susie, I'm not going to do it because I have the next flight in five hours, so I, don't, I can't. But uh, I did in the past, uh, for example, when I, uh, when I did some special things, special events. But I have to say that uh, basically, as you can see, the, the, the company is uh, updating the Twitter page uh, and, uh, every single day. And uh, again, I, you can see, for example, the, 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 all the initiative that we have, the, we can include so it's a sort of a platform like Facebook but of course it's a different 
way to communicate is different also time because you know you can uh, just spend just few words on Twitter mm -hmm. instead of Facebook uh, and, and so uh, I'm not doing it personally but the company is following very seriously. Well, maybe I, I could dictate to someone in your company a few words. That's 140 characters saying, had a fantastic morning talking with Susie in front of smart techno people. Good? I will. I will try. <laughs> um, what about YouTube? Do you like to see yourself on film? But, uh, I don't like to see myself in general, but of course uh, now uh, it's a part of my job as, and like this. Uh, so I think that, uh, again, it's more intriguing, it's more attracting for the people because it's a sort of uh, aspirational moment because you can see what's behind the scene, what's behind the project, what's behind, for example, this is the opening of the pop-up store that we did in New York or the, the award that I won in New York uh, three weeks ago or something like that. And so uh, I think that, as I told you, YouTube is an Another very interesting tool because uh, uh, you can uh, see all the videos that you want, you can include all the contents that you want uh, and personally I use, as I told you, YouTube a lot, especially when for doing my research, my personal research on music or whatever. So what message do we take from you, Frida? We certainly take the message that Gucci is very smart and wired up to what's going on in the world. What about you? Are you a techno wizard or are you just a young modern woman with a lot of commitments in your life who uses technology when you think it'll help you? No, I, I'm not myself. I cannot say that I'm a techno wizard, but uh, I'm a very curious person. I'm a designer. I'm designing uh, for an international brand. And I think that being always uh, innovative and contemporary is a key today. So, of course, uh, even though I, I don't have, as we discussed, so many times to do that, uh, I'm very, uh, how can I say, I'm very smart and I'm very fascinated by this world. And so uh, that's why I really want to be surrounded by people that uh, saying to me, what's next, what's going next? So to me, this is just the beginning. But I want to see, because you know, technology is so fast comparing to fashion that, I don't know, the fashion shows are every six months. In six months, in new technology can happen so one million things, new things. And so that's why we will continue to investigate in this world, because it's very important, uh, and because I think that uh, it's, uh, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's a mutual help before, between uh, fashion and, and technology. It's something, uh, are two things that they can really help uh, and can be very complementary one each other. I'd like to take two questions. We mustn't go on too long, but Frida's been so informative. I think we don't need too much. Anything from the floor here anyone wants? Or um, Jessica Michaud, have you got a... So this is Jessica Michaud, the online style editor of the Herald Tribune, who has been receiving the tweets that are being sent in on our... Um, and she's going to read out a question for you, Frida. I hope it's an easy one. Yeah, no, it's going to be fine. Um, um, I know that you have a lot of plans for technology for your next spring summer collection. Could you tell me a bit about your plans? Next spring summer, yes. Yeah. The, the spring summer collection actually was, uh, I, here, here you have the match, uh, was based uh, on new technology because I really wanted uh, uh, to explore a new way to balance uh, the craftsmanship uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the quality of uh, the Gucci items. Uh, or for example, as you can see here, the bracelet with the horse bit, which I called techno horse bit, with something that was very new in terms of treatments of materials uh, and uh, new techniques, for example, to treat uh, precious skins, leather, perforated leather, uh, leather with neoprene, leather jacket that I'm wearing right now, or again, rubberized uh, cocoa or python. Uh, and I found this exercise very interesting, uh, not only for myself, uh, but also for the suppliers. Uh, that works for us because it was something very demanding but also very challenging, but at the end they were very happy with the final result. Anything else? That, oh, there's a question over here. And then I'm afraid we'll have to stop there or I'll get out of time again as I did yesterday and get told off by the bosses. Uh, 
Well, I think that uh, <clears throat> all these tools that we showed, like for example Facebook or our website or the e-commerce, uh, are tools that are good not only to sell online, because of course you can also, I don't know, print out a picture of the product that you want and you can go directly to the store and you can ask for that, that item in that color, in that combination, as Susie was mentioning before. Uh, if I want to buy, of course shoes is, is a more difficult market for e-commerce because you, you can and try you, you, even so it's something that is working very well but it should be another attraction and in this moment especially they, there is no traffic in the stores basically all around the world it's very difficult to invite and to attract people in the stores I think uh, more you can uh, invent something new and more you can attract people in, in your stores uh, more people is it feels more confident in a way more less uh, uh, I can say less scary to go and to, and to buy something so that was a very good question, two good questions in fact, but I think now we really have had a fantastic presentation from Frida Giannini of Gucci, showing us what Gucci is doing and somehow it seemed in this explanation that it really it all melds together your existing world and the real world, which I think must be the aim of every luxury brand. Frida Giannini, thank you so much. Thank you to you. <laughs> thank you so much. Really great. Thank you very much. Thank you.